industry. And we've been able to grow our membership throughout that time frame. Uh, most recently, we've added, or within the last year, we've added about 60 women-led, women-owned businesses. But more importantly to the growth of the organization is what those members are doing. We want to acknowledge and thank the private sector partners for their support and the opportunities that we've been given. But we also want to thank the international partners for helping our businesses connect with new investors and new businesses that are coming together. We look forward to many more meaningful partnerships that will continue to, that will enable the continued progress outside of oil and gas, offering the crucial economic diversification that Guyana needs. around society and so sometimes you hear a lot of chatter that the chamber should be doing more and should be doing more for women and women owned businesses and the, the members of the chamber will know what I'm talking about and I think we have to put things into context and when people do not appreciate the context of uh, the situation uh, they lose the importance and, the, and the, of the work that is being done. So the Women's Chamber was launched in 20, 2019, making it three years old. If you compare that to the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce, which was founded in 1889, you're talking about 130 years ago. There's no comparison there. Among some of the key uh, advantages of a strong network, including information sharing, testing ideas, business advice and support, and finally finding new business opportunity. In this aspect, members can benefit uh, from improved uh, managerial skills and financial literacy. Connecting with each other also is a, a, a key element when considering success uh, factors and key insights, uh, personalized support, creation of uh, solutions. Uh, in, the, in, the, in changing the mindset of, of, of management and business.